the core of the group met actually playing in Detroit Symphony's uh, Civic Jazz Orchestra. At the time, Marcus Belgrave was directing, and Darrell Campbell, myself, as well as John Dixon and Nate Wynn were all students of that ensemble. And when we first met in that ensemble, I mean, we were really just picking up a lot of the influences from Marcus Belgrave, who was directing at the time. And over the years, we just started performing together more and more. Um, mainly, actually, the rhythm section was performing together. And I remember I was in college, and at the time I was going to Michigan State, and I was very much so in like kind of like this jazz purist stage. And John invited me to come back and work with the, the, the quartet. And when I first came back to work with them, you know, I came very like buttoned up and, and ready to play some serious jazz music. And, you know, I saw that there was an electric bass player, and I, at first I just kind of turned my nose up a little bit and, and thought that I knew everything there was to know about music because I was into acoustic traditional jazz at the time. And what ended up happening is I just got my butt kicked, like completely and totally. They just wiped the floor with me. I mean, they could play swing, they could play funk, they could play Latin stuff. I mean, they were really just going across the board, playing a lot of different styles at a very, very high level. And it opened me up. It opened me up and made me realize that there, that you can't put a limitation on music and you can't put a limitation on what you compose and what you perform and how you play and that you have to be as open as possible and have as much freedom and right then from that moment I started having the desire to gain as much freedom in my musicianship and my artistry as possible and so I hired all of them they, they became my band the very guys that were opening me up and kicking my butt I decided they were going to be my band and that's who I needed to work with to push me to the next level I'm so excited to be here. Um, finally got everybody to do this recording. It's going to be awesome. We're about to make some magic. Every time we get together, you know, it's like something new happens every time. It's never the same. And, um, you know, it's, it's just going to be a beautiful thing. We're playing um, some new tunes and some tunes, you know, that we've been playing um, for a little while now. But like I said, it's never the same. So it's always going to be something magical, something special. This is my first time at this studio um, and I'm just excited to be here and I'm ready to go record. So let's get it. So many different things that are coming together and uh, to really have, I think it's 10 people total recording uh, today, 9 or 10 people all coming together as a family. Some of us have played these tunes for the first time, some of us have joined Midway. Uh, it's just, it's, it's an immense pleasure to have uh, all this brilliant energy just come through into one person's music. Music is very soulful. Uh, it's definitely coming out of jazz, but it has a lot of different influences like uh, R&B, hip hop, just very soulful music. And uh, all the people here are coming from very different backgrounds, but um, we're all kind of pulling from our backgrounds and, and putting it into the music. So it's gonna be a very eclectic mix, mix for you. And yeah, we're excited to give it to you. So here we go. beginning all of us treated this music as an opportunity to have freedom you know there are certain restrictions that come with playing any style of music or playing under any particular band leader but we always saw this as an opportunity to really be free to write our own music to perform the way that we want to play and let the music take on its own vibe so if anything I would call it 
you know, freedom music. I'd call it vibe music. I'd just call it Detroit-based music. I wouldn't limit it to any particular category. Thank you.